So hi everyone, Severus here. Welcome back in another video. So in today's video, we're going to do a uh, monster analysis onto King of Tomb. Uh, this is the next Legend Pass monster, and honestly, is the best Megaton monster in the game. Yeah, I'm saying this. This monster is the best ever <laughs> for the Megaton category. So um, let's start by reading the lore. Uh, after years of division and conflict, the monster of the Rocky Peaks have decided to summon the only leader of the mall of the, the only leader of the mall trust, uh, General Atum. However, it's this time Rock Archery uses blood naturally fused with nectar in the summoning ceremony. Therefore, General Atum is no longer a General Atum. Well, I mean, uh, but it's a new supreme Rocky being, King Atum. I I hoped for something more lore wise but it's fine so this monster is a earth tank with sandstorm damage mirror mega stun and healing skills uh that's incredible uh yeah th that's a really good uh that's a really good thing we have a really good monster because we are seeing one two three four effects in the main uh thing here, I don't know how to say it, but yeah, uh, so, let's start by looking at the stats, this monster has some really, really, really good stats, I had to emphasize it, so ignore that triple times, really, uh, but, this monster's life stat is, uh, 142,356, which is the highest in the game, not only this monster is a tank, uh, but, he also has the highest life stat in the game. So right now, uh, let me do, say this thing first. I forgot to say it, but yeah. Um, I don't know if I, I mentioned it before. This monster is going to be the Legend Pass monster, which I am going to buy. Um, and this monster can be either a tank or an attacker. Or both if you want. Um, which he can also be both. And still do both the good jobs at the same time. But we'll see in a second. Uh... He has a really high power set, not like the highest, but he has the power set of 10,538, uh, which is tied with that of uh, Chirp Cupid. And all of most of people here watching this videos, uh, watching this video, probably know that Chirp Cupid is one of the best monsters in the game for the Pierce mechanic, but also because he's a strong attacker, you know, extra chance, uh, AOE skills. But this monster, I believe, is going to be pretty good on the attacker side as well. And then he has a pretty high speed set of 707,077. Uh, but wait, backward, backwards, 7777. So yeah, it's a pretty high stat for a tank. Uh, usually tanks are slower, uh, but this monster is near to monsters like Uriel or Teddy Bomb, which are the meta, are, are really meta right now. Um, he has double earth as an element. I don't know how is that gonna work, like, does that mean he takes like 75% less damage from earth attacks and he takes like uh, 5 da five x damage against uh, dark, because that doesn't really make sense. Uh, anyways, let's start looking at the trait, um, a rank 0 has Megaton as a trait, this is the third monster in the, in the, mo in, in the Monster Legends uh, universe we have. Megaton as a trait, and this already made monsters like Pangoliath and uh, Centurion really OP. So I believe that uh, this monster is not gonna be a lackluster monster. Uh, so yeah, Megaton at rank zero already meta officially. Like even if this monster has the skill set of a dead kangaroo, uh, <laughs> he's still going to be really powerful. Uh, at rank one, he has a self immune to control. Which is, again, another really good thing. This monster has, uh, like, the, the, immu the immunity to control is pretty good against monsters that, like, uh, I, the, fair, the first monster I can, talk, I can think about is, like, Zyron, or, uh, I don't know, any monster that denies and doesn't remove full effects, which is now rare, uh, because the main deny monsters that I use are, like, Raris, which removes full effects, and, um, Teddy Bomb who does as well, so, I mean, that's kind of odd, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, a rank 3, we get a new mechanic, uh, damage mirror trait, a 25% damage mirror, uh, 
this monster used to have a 50% damage mirror, uh, a rank 3, uh, but they nerfed it, they nerfed the skill set, they, um, it's not that it's worse, but now it's a lot more balanced. Um, at rank 4 we get area dark protection, so I mean that's gonna help, considering he is double earth, he is going to take a lot, a lot of damage against earth monsters. And at rank 5, uh, his trait is now 50% damage mirror. Now it used to be 50 at uh, rank 3 and 100% damage mirror at uh, rank 5, which was too much as a tank. Uh, that would have been really too much, so with it being permanent, I believe it's pretty good. Uh, relics wise, he can hold an armor, double armor, and yeah, he is in the Rocky Peaks uh, book, in the Good Legends book, and in the Families book. So, uh, we've not been lacking any good monster in these categories, but uh, I mean, why not? Uh, we have just another Megaton monster that we can use. Now the basic attacks inquire finally awaken, um, which deals one earth damage to an enemy applies life region to itself. Zero cooldown skill with 50, uh, 40 percent uh, damage and 30 percent stamina cost. Pretty good for the zero cooldown skill, but not really. Uh, Rocky leader heals itself by 50 percent. This is zero cooldown uh, and 30 stamina cost. However, well, you, I mean, you're healing by 50%, you can spam this and heal like a monster. So yeah, that's already pretty good. Um, then you have Course Assault, uh, which deals Mother Earth to all enemies and applies Quicksand. This is 30 damage AoE with 2 turn cooldowns. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, the cooldown is pretty high though, but ignore that. Uh, the cooldown is pretty high, uh, but it doesn't really even matter that much. Uh, the shiniest rock applies dark protection to itself, heals to itself by 50%. Instead of just having like dark protection, I'd rather have the rocky leader so I can just spam the healing and not have to wait one turn every time. Then you have the biggest rock, increasing maximum life of 50%. This was nerfed and heals itself by 100%. It used to be doubles itself uh, maximum life. It wasn't just a 50%, it was a 100%, but they nerfed it. Honestly, I'm okay with it. Uh, then you have Moissanite Assault. Heals Mother Earth damage to enemies and plays sand Sandstorm to all enemies. This monster introduces the new uh, effect Sandstorm. Now, Sandstorm blocks out Beer Status Caster, so that's going to be annoying against monsters like uh, Elfira. Elfira has the Pierce mechanic and also deals, like, I believe. Either 20 or 15% damage each turn, but it's fine. It's still pretty good um, And it's a new torture. So yeah, then you have the hardest rock a place torture and control immunity to itself and heals itself by 50% This has been increased. It's not 50% anymore. It's 100% I believe uh, But that's it. It's special damage. It's a full heal and a play torture and control immunity, which is really good uh, you full heal for a 3 turn cooldown skill and a 48 stamina cost. So yeah, that's pretty that's pretty neat, if you ask me. Uh, and then you have King's Mace. This skill is fantastic. This massive earth damage to one enemy. And that that's, this skill doesn't have any cooldown or stamina cost. So you can do this skill forever, you can spam it. And it's a 70, like it's a 70 damage skill. It's incredibly powerful just for that. It's a lot of damage, like, you can do a lot, a really massive amount of damage with this skill. And it's zero cooldown, zero stamina. On a monster like this, it's, it's insane. We've never seen something like this in a while. Uh, the last monster to do something similar was... Uh, I don't remember its name. Uh, oh god. Uh, Elrok. Chieftain Elrok. Uh, yeah, he had a similar skill, so... This monster, though, has a better trait. And it's going to make him really better overall. Then we have Diamond, so Diamond Assault. Deals moderate earth damage to all enemies. Apply quicksand to all enemies and life regen to itself. You're applying life regen and also applying the quicksand to everyone. So that's pretty neat. Uh, then you have Art of Diamond. Applies damage mirror to itself. Increases max of life by 50% and yields by 50%. Um, honestly, you'd run this. If I run Art of Diamond. Uh, as a skill, 
then King's Mace. Then you run Rocky Army Assault, probably, which deals heavy damage to enemies. A 45 damage AoE skill, which is by far the highest for every mythic monster. They all have uh, 45 damage, excluding um, excluding uh, Boom Shagalaka with a 55, which was insane, but yeah. Uh, so this is a really high damage amount for such a uh, for a tank, which makes him even more of an attacker. It has a cheat turn cooldown and a 48 stamina cost, but I think it's fine. And then you have Powerful Fists, which deals very heavy air damage to an to one enemy and plays Mega Stun to one enemy. You can also Mega Stun. How insane is that? You can heal. You can you can block damage. You can. You can apply uh, she not shields. You can apply immunity to yourself. You can heal as a zero cooldown skill. You do a lot of damage. You can apply. You have a damage mirror trait. You have immune to control as a status caster, but it's fine. You have Megaton permanently. Uh, you have full heals also. You can like heal by 100%, which is again insane. Um, you have some really strong skills. You have a new mechanic, which is the one of the. Um, the quick, the uh, not the sandstorm, yeah. You can deny for it's this monster is so OP. No, not OP really, but yeah, he, he is OP. Uh, but he is really powerful, and I think this monster is going to be really enjoyable to use as well. So, I mean, on this monster, you should run like a, an attacker slash tank route. So, I mean, speed rune, uh, life rune, and damage rune, not damage, uh, and. Uh, strength rune, whatever the heck is it called. And the skills that you want to run is probably King's Mace as your main attack skill. Uh, powerful Fists, uh, Rock Army Assault. Uh, maybe you may not want to run this skill, but it depends. I honestly am going to run it because you're applying a torture and healing. So yeah. Uh, and probably either, uh, either Heart of the Diamond or... Um, Hardest Rock, yeah, probably Hardest Rock because it heals by 100% is removing both control and torture. So yeah, that's pretty good. Um, I think you, yeah, I think you'd run Hardest Rock, King's Mace, uh, Rocky Army Assault, and Powerful Fists. And then last but not least, you have the Ultimate, which deals very heavy Earth damage to enemies, disable straight, and applies Mega Stun and Sand Storm to our enemies. So yeah, that's um, that's a really good skill set for uh, such a monster. We have an insane trait. We have some insane stats. This monster is by far like, this monster is as powerful as Centurion. Uh, Centurion was this powerful when it used to be meta. So yeah, this monster is just OP to all levels. And design-wise, he, he also looks really good. I really like the design. I dig it a lot. So this monster is going to cost a bit. The talent you get with him is not the best. So at least you're not getting such an advantage. But yeah, um, we'll see. This monster is pretty counterable by monsters like Shadow Nia. Uh, but that would also make this monster even stronger for the uh, attacker route. Because you don't need to worry about techness. So you can just straight up attack. So yeah, that that's pretty much all for this. Um, yeah, you could, run, you could do a lot of stuff with this monster. You can run like... Shadow Nia or Amania and a control monster uh, so you can control the battle you can still support this monster and give damage boost to, the, to this monster and you will do the damage and also tank out stuff the fact that this monster can do two roles two important roles in a team uh, which are almost necessary at the same time without denying any one of them it's absolutely amazing and I love it so that's pretty much all about it for this for this video Tell me, what do you think about it? Maybe I am just <laughs> maybe liking this a bit too much. Maybe I should hate this, but uh, we'll see in the future. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.